Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Malik Jio 34 channel. Hello everyone, welcome to Malik Jio 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Uh, you know, as I said, this is a continuous series of uh, grid infrastructure installation and the rack database creation on top of that with the various versions 11G, 12C, 18C and 19C. So in, in our previous videos, we did uh, virtual box setup, OL installation and creating users and directories. So now, uh, you know, we will check this uh, DNS and name server configuration. So in the DNS and name server configuration, we will be checking the firewall, uh, enable, uh, disable and NTP configuration and forward zone and reverse zone creations and verifying the NS lookup and etc name dot configuration and resolve, uh, no, etc resolve dot configuration, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, other things as well resolve dot configuration so okay so if you can see this uh, named uh, dns named server configuration here uh, we need to edit this etc named dot config file with the listen on port 53 and then you need to add your node 1 detail node 1 is going to act as your dns server and all the ips are getting resolved from the node 1 because node 1 itself is a dns server in this configuration so this is my uh, node 1 ip address i'm going to put it here and allow query i am going to put entire subnet of uh, you know uh, 192.168.24.0.24 uh, uh, it's going to be sorry there's a typo here 1.0.24 okay so uh, I'm going to put it entire my subnet in this allow query and uh, I'm going to modify this local domain uh, dot com as a forward zone and uh, reverse uh, domain as a reverse zone reverse dot local domain and forward dot local domain uh, i'll just quickly uh, cat this file i just modified i just wanted to show it here vi okay uh, this is my listen port so i just added my node one details here uh, since this is my uh, dns server and allow query i just added my entire subnet here 192 168 so sorry there's a typo here uh, it should be enter subnet 192 168 uh, one dot it's going to be 1.0 slash 24 and this is these are the two modifications you need to do and then you need to add this forward zone and reverse zone see this is forward zone is local domain dot com and i'm creating a forward dot local domain file and this is going to be my reverse zone and i'm going to create a reverse dot local domain file so these are the two zones i need to add it on the same file so i'll just quickly show that one i just added here okay this is a default zone it will come in this file and i have added my uh, forward zone and this is reverse zone so again typo here i'm just going to change it to 1 dot 1 dot 196 19 oh, so 162 and in that address dot rpa so and then it's the type is master and then reverse dot local domain is a file name so i'm going to save this one these are the two changes you need to do the forward zone and reverse zone you need to add and these are the listen on the port 53 and then allow query you need to allow these two and then forward dot local domain file you need to create in this where dot name directory and reverse dot local domain again you need to create in where dot name directory so where you are going to define your node one as a dns server and you are resolving node one of this 128 ip node two with 129 and uh, ol6 uh, scan one scan two scan three all this 140 150 and 160 you are uh, uh, public network and scan network you are going to forward uh, uh, you know adding it to forward zone and similarly in the reverse zone uh, again i need to change there's a typo here it's going to be node 1 okay again this is my dns server and i'm going to resolve node 1 node 2 with ip address and i'm going to uh, resolve my scan with ip address and i'm going to resolve this uh, uh, you know ip addresses with the host name okay so i'm just adding these two files uh, i already added here but i need to do this couple of changes whatever i did so where named and these are my two files forward 
okay so node 1 node 2 scan and these are the reverse so all looks good here and what about reverse so reverse I'm going to change it here this is my domain name uh, oel6 node 1 dot local domain dot com and okay rest other things are looks good so i'll just going to save this one these two files forward zone and reverse zones files are ready and then uh, etc configuration file you need to uh, add it to node 1 ip address because all the ips are getting resolved with this uh, node 1 so i'm just going to cat that one cat yeah it is pointing to name server is pointing to node 1 and rotate time out and reattempt so everything is set here and then uh, next is going to be uh, etc sc linux config should be disabled okay sc linux is already disabled here and uh, you know stop ip table okay and then uh, check config ip table off okay done and then you know you need to add these entries into your sysconfig ctl so i am not going to add it because uh, you know once you install default rpms you know these will be set to default i'll just verify it here okay it's already added here but uh, if you want to do anything in some modification with this sh min sh mall sh max all this memory shared memory parameter and you know net ipv4 core and all so you can uh, you know modify it and then uh, modify it as per your requirement so i'm not going to do it anything because uh, you know since it is uh, uh, my test server i'm not going to do anything here so in the in the etc security limit dot config you can add it for grid and oracle user so i already added here if you can see this is for grid and this is for oracle i already added number of files and number of soft and hard number of open files everything i have added here so next thing is uh, oh, okay ntp so if you are using ntp for your cluster synchronization you need to modify this particular file with hyphen x option so if you don't want to use ntp your ctss cluster time synchronization service is going to be active mode if you use ntp uh, your ctss will be in observer mode so i'm not going to use ntp so if you want to use ntp you just add this hyphen x option in this file and then you can restart your ntp service so that your ntp will be active and your ctss will be in deactive mode and uh, you know uh, these are the just review for a review i kept it for all these rpms if you want to install if you already installed it no need to worry if you are not installed you just try to install it because it will fix most of the issues uh, because it will do all the kernel settings all the uh, you know uh, this uh, limit.config settings and you know, sysctl all this configuration everything will be uh, set at default as per oracle recommendation if you want to do it customization you, you can edit it anytime so now i will do uh, i will restart this uh, named service service named restart and then i will try to uh, do ns lookup cat slash etc hosts i am going to do ns lookup okay so it is getting resolved and it is getting address with one okay so this uh, again uh, it is uh, wrongly taking from somewhere i need to modify from where it is taking okay so and then if i do it for uh, node 2 okay node 2 also it is uh, you know pointing to 8 series probably it will be of uh, my uh, forward zone and reverse zone file okay here you can see here right it is a uh, wrong ip address i put here because of my old uh, file i'm just using it here i will just uh, change it to my current ip address right so i set it this one and reverse zone i will do it now one 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 okay so now I'll do one more time service network service named restart. 
okay now i'll do ns lookup uh, node 1 ns lookup node 1 see it is uh, resolving now and i'll do ns lookup node 2 okay node 2 also resolving i will uh, do scan uh, ol6 scan so scan is also resolving 50 60 and 40 if i do one more time 60 40 and 50 if i do one more time it is 40 50 and 60 so scan is also working perfectly fine so with this we are done with the named server configuration and then we will uh, proceed with the uh, cloning uh, OEL uh, server and we'll uh, name it as a node 2 and then we'll do ip changes and host name changes and all so once that is done we'll start with the uh, creating shared disk thank you guys